staff director was Michael Yesley, who succeeded Charlie Lowe. <clears throat> and uh, Michael uh, quickly saw that the commission wanted them uh, to function as staff who would listen to the debates and the arguments and then write reports based on what the commissioners said. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that staff became well aware that the commissioners themselves wanted opportunity to uh, meet and to discuss. Uh, and so I'm going to hazard a guess that it was Michael Yesley who uh, set that up. It was not unusual since it was uh, just across the border from Washington, D.C. into Maryland. It was not unusual for uh, federal offices, bodies, various uh, federal functions uh, to be held in that conference center. So uh, I'm sure if, if he just talked to his colleagues and said, where is there a comfortable place where we can meet and discuss somebody uh, probably recommended it to him, and he had authority to contract for uh, the commission to meet there for a few days. But once again, it was Leroy Walters who uh, offered the very first draft mm -hmm. uh, and then left. So he was not involved in drafting, but he had already identified three principles. And of course, he did that partly because of his reading, but partly because he himself had attended most of the commission meetings mm -hmm. uh, just as an audience. He had also provided much of the material, as I indicated right. before. I was in OPR and, and also liaison to the commission, so it fell to me to publish in the Federal Register each of the reports of the commission as they were produced. And uh, that w after the first or second one, we learned the routine of contacting the Federal Register, and we had to redact the reports into a certain kind of typing mode and so on. Once we learned the technique, it was kind of automatic. And uh, so when we published Belmont, I don't think we saw it as uh, being different or outside of uh, the rest of the work of the commission or as, as in itself standing by itself. Uh, I, I attended the meetings and I recognized these are overarching principles. Uh, and so, of course, it was, it's different than uh, research in children or research in the retarded or research in surgery that were on specific topics, mm -hmm. but, uh, but in the sense that it would take on a kind of life of its own, uh, I don't think I foresaw that. Now, whether others did, I cannot answer, but uh, I'd like to say, yes, I was wise enough to see that it would be uh, the major work of the commission, but uh, I have to admit that I don't think I saw that.